Lots of big, mean companies in this space. <laughs> tell, tell me why you backed, backed <clears throat> Optimus Ride. Well, all the all the investments we make are in you know competitive spaces. We got really excited about Optimus Ride because they have a world class technical team out of MIT. Ryan was at the MIT Media Lab, and then they've got a number of engineers that came out of the DARPA Urban Challenge at MIT. And then the second thing is they've really got the right approach. So that by focusing on on private land, which is what they do, they limit the problem parameters so they can get to full autonomy a lot faster. Tell me what that means. I don't quite, I don't, I don't quite understand. Like, what, what so, piece of the technology have they figured out that others have not? Well, I'll, I'll let Ryan speak to the technology parameters, but by, by limiting the problem, what you allow in, in any sort of leap of technology, what you do is you, you limit some of the parameters. And, and on private land, you can do things like lower the speed limit, add uh, physical things to the environment. And so it makes things go a lot better and, and be and work in real life conditions very fast. For example, in full autonomy without private land, if it starts raining or you have these other things, it can be it, it just won't work. Whereas in private land, you can take a number of natural steps to make make sure it's, it works. I see. So Ryan, do you see deploy that this technology gets deployed first in like private residences or theme parks or golf courses? Well, my view is that as any area that you can uh, constrain the problem allows you to test uh, very quickly and be able to move to a completely driverless solution. Right? So our view is that when you get to a completely driverless, meaning no test drivers on board, then you get to get the user feedback, which is ne needed once you have that person out of the loop. And for us, that feedback allows us to not only uh, be able to test user interfaces, but also to get to a level of autonomy where the vehicle could basically go from one place, one point within the within the geography to another, very seamlessly. 